The most recent construction of Saudi Arabia's mega project, estimated to cost $500 billion, has been seen in new satellite pictures. The progress made in 2023 on the new city is quite astounding, and in this video, we will take a deeper look at the construction progress and break down all the exciting new developments. So, let's get started. The new construction named Neom is now in its initial development phase. The striking aerial photos show the progress on the 100-mile-long linear line city, including the setup of offices and a campsite for the engineering team and laborers. Additionally, Saudi Arabia has published a new video demonstrating how a future vision is beginning to take form. As part of the project, the three-minute progress film displays footage of development going on in various locations. These include the line, Trojina, Octagon, and Neom's newest region, Sindala. As of now, the city's first phase is set to cost $320 billion, half of which will come from the country's sovereign wealth fund as a part of the public investment. The center of Neom is the line. A 500-meter high mega city comprised of two reflective glass buildings running parallel for 170 kilometers. They will run across the coast, mountain, and desert. The two buildings will be connected via walkways. Soon after 3D renderings of the city were released, many people were skeptical whether construction on the line would ever begin. But the satellite and drone footage released revealed more than two dozen bulldozers dredging a long line across the desert. And it is a clear indication of the work that continues to progress. In addition, contracts have been agreed upon with the construction companies AECOM and Bechtel to develop advanced transportation infrastructure. And this leaves us with no doubt that it will be one of the world's largest and most complex infrastructure projects. Sindala, one of Neom's regions, is a small island destination that will serve as a primary gateway to the Red Sea while providing visitors with individualized nautical experiences. Besides that, the resort is focused on high-end tourism and features three hotels. Altogether, they will have nearly 750 rooms and apartments alongside a sizable marina. The team at Neom predicts Sindala to be the focal point as a destination for super yachts. Perhaps in the upcoming years, the huge turtle-shaped yacht Pangios, which we mentioned in a previous video, will be cruising to Sindala. With time, travelers can access all modern facilities, including luxury shopping, yacht clubs, a spa, and a wellness center. It is expected that Sindala will be the home of 2,000 distinct types of marine life. And many of these species are native to the Red Sea, which you won't be able to find anywhere else on Earth. In addition, Saudi Arabia is unprecedented in its scope for setting aside 95% of its territory for conservation and rewilding animals to their original habitat. Now let's talk about another part of Neom's construction called the Trojina. It is a massive ski resort and outdoor destination located in the mountains, 50 kilometers off the Gulf of the Kaaba coast. Trojina will be in the center of Neom, where some of the highest peaks are located at approximately 2,600 meters above sea level. The progress video further demonstrates the building of a road that winds through mountains and leads up to what appears to be the location of a ski resort. Moreover, the proposal is already planned to be the site of the 2029 Asian Winter Games. This makes the completion of this resort very likely, and it is expected to be completed by 2026. With a cost of $500 billion, the desert city will include year-round skiing, as well as a man-made freshwater lake, chalets, villas, and ultra-luxury hotels. And it is anticipated that it will house up to 9 million people by 2045. The latest progress footage also shows an extensive area being cleared and leveled for the construction of Octagon, which is the fourth and final zone of Neon. Octagon is an industrial and manufacturing complex that would float over the Red Sea and run exclusively on pure energy. It will evolve into one of the world's most technologically advanced logistics centers with cutting-edge technologies like IoT, human-machine fusion, artificial intelligence, and robotics. Furthermore, the massive city is believed to introduce housing for 90,000 residents by 2030. Architects are now developing the initial sections, vertical spaces, and layers for the first dwelling. 
Niam's plan also proposes integration between Saudi Arabia and Egypt through one of the most well-known canals in the world, the Suez Canal. This canal is an artificial sea-level waterway in Egypt, connecting the Mediterranean Sea to the Red Sea. Niam will integrate the Suez Canal and Niam, making it a center of trade from all over the world. This will allow commerce to take place between regions like Asia, Europe, and North Africa. The executive director of the line, Giles Pendleton, has mentioned that NEOM is a highly complex project that is being developed in multiple phases and that the team is now getting closer to realizing NEOM's completion through close collaboration with engineers and contractors. According to Nadmi Al Nasser, the CEO of NEOM, new advancements have been made in the infrastructure to sustain the line. The line will have no cars, be powered entirely by renewable energy, and boast an AI-powered healthcare system that is expected to add 10 years to a resident's life due to health tracking systems. Inoa is the company that is in charge of managing Neom's first-class sustainable energy and water systems. They are currently in the process of building the world's largest green hydrogen production plant. Neom has invested $175 million into the future of transport, working with companies such as Volocopter, which is an urban air mobility company that develops eco-friendly air taxis to transport people. This technology is the next generation of transport to accelerate urban air mobility. Since Neom covers a large area and promises fast travel between its different regions, the Volocopters would ideally be used as taxis or to transport luggage. Also, in September 2022, it was reported that Neom had partnered with McLaren to drive innovation and talent development in Noem's electrical motorsport industry. When it comes to offering citizens high-tech services, smart cities are the best option, mostly due to their ability to respond quickly to individual needs and requirements. However, Neom's designers aspire to go above and beyond the basic smart city model by creating the most advanced smart city system in the world. An operating system called NEOS will run the city. It will power things like autonomous technology and personalization. Humanoids will be used in places such as the hotel receptionists. But they won't simply just be robots. Instead, they will be gateways to real human specialists. Let's say you're asking about jet boating to a robot, you'll be immediately connected to a jet boating expert. This type of technology that Neom is working on is cutting edge and extremely impressive. The progress video also shows Neom's expansion in other sectors, like the media sector. It has funded 25 productions in the past 18 months and collaborated with well-known companies like BBC and NBC. But the project has faced significant criticism and controversy, including concerns about its sustainability and accusations of human rights violations. However, the proponents of the project argue that the main and only objective of NEOM is to create a city of the future for everyone from around the world, which will be the first sustainable city fully dependent on carbon-free water technology and renewable energy sources. So, what do you think of Saudi Arabia's NEOM project and the progress that has been made so far in 2023? Be sure to leave your opinions in the comment section below. And make sure to like this video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you never miss an upload. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.